Hi guys, um, it's me. I've got a little bit of news. Finally, we've got everything ready for hostiledesign.org. We've launched the campaign. It's now live. First of all, thank you so, so, so much for all your amazing support. The story has gone absolutely massive now. It's hit most of the mainstream media. The pressure is really, really building and I feel that we finally got the people involved in these kind of designs against humanity on the back foot. Now, for those of you that don't have a foggiest what I'm actually going on about, this whole thing started on Saturday. I was walking through the town centre, my own hometown, down here in Bournemouth, right by the sea, on the coast of England, and I saw this, a horrendous piece of hostile design. For those of you that might not know what this is, this is a brutal metal bar that has been installed for one reason and one reason only, and that is to prevent rough sleepers from having a bed for the night on this bench. But worse than that, what this actually does is this says our town doesn't care about those without a home, we'd rather push them away, we'd rather design them out of our public spaces than actually deal with the problem. It is a total, complete and utter cop-out. I don't pay my taxes for big bits of metal to be put on our public furniture and I was really, really angry when I saw it. So I've worked out a way, I hope, that we can come together and really start to change this. First of all, I think it's important to point out this is not just in Bournemouth. I've had so many messages from you sharing pictures of hostile design all over the world. We're seeing spikes outside restaurants, certain designs to prevent people from congregating. Yes, they mean teenagers. Things to prevent skateboarders brutal looking measures against homeless sleepers and just basic designs against humanity, you know. I went to art school, I've made a lot of art all over the world, big public art things that really are about bringing people together, they're about inclusion, they're about accessibility, they're about sharing and I just think it's so gross that designers, fabricators, city and town planners uh, even considering putting anything like this in the public realm, it is deeply, deeply offensive. So what I thought we could do is, um, by the way, I don't know how we fix homelessness. That's a really complicated issue. And yes, we might be able to put someone up in a bed for a night, but then what? You know, we need better mental health support. If there's substance abuse issues, the support needs to be there. There might be financial considerations. There's a whole heap of work that needs to be done and it can really only be done by our governments, by our cities and by those who have those specialist expert resources. But I think we can make the public realm nicer, happier and more inviting for everybody. So, first of all, it's important that we start spotting these hideous pieces of hostile design, these designs against humanity and calling them out. So today we've launched hostiledesign.org. What that means is you can take a picture of hostile design in your own town, in your own city, wherever you are in the world, share it on Instagram, use the hashtag hostile design, and those images will be pulled together into a global database where together we can name and shame those hideous cities and towns that are involved in this despicable practice. Also on the site, you're going to be able to fill in a form and get your hands on one of these. This is the Design Crime Sticker Sheet. What that does is that gives you the ability to get one of the Design Crime stickers and stick it on an offending piece of hostile design so people now know what it is. These stickers are designed from a special vinyl, which means they're not going to leave any residue, they're not going to cause any permanent damage. We are not vandals, we're not here to attack it, we're just here to point it out in a peaceful manner and signpost it. The other thing we've done with these is, if you've got no money, you can order these from hostiledesign.org for free. If you've got some money, you can buy a sheet for 50p, which is what it costs us to get them 
manufactured. If you've got a little bit more money, and I hope you're gonna do this, you can buy these for a pound, and the extra 50p will go to support the free stickers for those who can't afford them. The only thing we can't do anything about is the postage and packing, because the post office charge us for that. Um, so you can order the stickers and use them, please look at hostiledesign.org and um, s learn how to spot hostile design around you. Keep sharing the story, keep the pressure up in your own towns and cities, use your voice on social media, that's very important, very, very effective. And if you are in Bournemouth on Monday, we're planning a very beautiful flash mob. We want to sh send a clear sign of love and solidarity to the homeless people um, in our community. So we want to decorate these benches. We want to add ribbons, balloons, maybe a little sign or message of hope. Um, and we'd like them to remain during the day. So come down, help us make these benches look pretty. It should be lovely. And at the end of the day, we're gonna clear that away because we don't want to cause litter or any problems. Um, but hopefully that will raise a little bit of awareness of actually how a little bit of beauty can change some lives. Okay, you're all absolutely amazing. HostileDesign.org, share it, get involved. Love you very much. Bye for now.